community feedback. Today we're going to look at what you said about the Logic Gate board game. What do we got, Ben? All right. I really like the discussion Karen and Ben had regarding the target audience. I taught middle and high school for 11 years before going into engineering. I also have four sons, age 2 to 13. I've seen a ton of educational type games. I definitely see this project being best aimed at kids both in and out of the classroom. My suggestion for the connectors is to make them stackable, similar to snap circuits, your favorite, to make junctions possible. Oh yeah, just like a bus, like <laughs> multiple things in one. Yeah. One. But the magnetic class would also make it much easier for kids to join the mechanical snaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, snap circuits, they take some pressure, don't they? Yeah, I had trouble with those and I tried to let my like five-year-old niece use them and mm -hmm. it did yeah. not go well. Couldn't you stack multiple magnetic things on top of We each could, other? so yeah, I think this is a great idea. And I think with the way those magnetic clasps like stack together, I think there's a way to manufacture them so that there's <laughs> like a male and female version that like the bottom is always female and the top is always male. Oh yeah, so it just keeps going up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we wouldn't even necessarily need the buses. You can just stack your, your connectors. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think that's a good solution. Yeah, maybe we should make a prototype of that. Yeah. Maybe they could be like a small uh, neomidium magnet in each one. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're gonna stack it that high. Yeah. And the wire would kind of come out the side. So mm -hmm. it'd be like, like almost like a ball cap, like boop, yeah. boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, this next one's pretty funny. Yeah. Also, any voices or sounds you incorporate should not be required for gameplay. Parents and teachers don't want to hear loud sounds all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, what else do we got? Oh, this one's directed to, to you. Oh. Hi, Karen. I had a wild idea about the connections. How about a simple wire matrix that you could connect with punch pins for the circuit connection. I'm thinking along the lines of a physical PLD matrix to connect inputs and outputs of the logic gates. I'm sure Ben could figure out a simple design, a possible 3D printer setup, the pegboard-like structure. I mean, that's kind of what we were talking about sort of just you know a few minutes ago where we stack things up. Mm -hmm. Well, Karen, those are some great ideas. They are. We got some great ideas for how we're going to do our connectors. So keep posting those ideas to the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash TBHS in the Logic Gate board game subspace. We'll see you online.